A few months ago, I reviewed this Toolkit RC M6D dual charger, which is now my daily portable charger. And I've had some comments about the accuracy of the N voltages, because the previous M8 and M6 chargers weren't great for some users. So I thought I'd go through how to calibrate it. It's dead easy, and it's generally a good idea on all portable chargers. And also, I saw there was a firmware upgrade, so I'll take a look at that as well. Hello, and welcome to the Whirly Bloke channel. I'm currently on version 1.02 of the firmware, so I need to upgrade. Toolkit RC make upgrading to new firmware really easy. If you head on over to their website and on the M6D downloads page, there's a link to the latest 1.04 firmware. Download it and you'll need to unarchive it. And although it says on this page it's a zip, it's not, it's actually a RAR file. So you'll need WinRAR on Windows or Unarchiver on the Mac. And there's links in the description to get these free downloads. Just unarchive the firmware somewhere on your PC and plug the M6D in with the USB cable toolkit RC supply. You don't need any power on the charger while you're doing this. And it'll show up as an external drive called Toolkit. And on Windows, it'll have a drive letter as well. Now, if we take a look at the downloaded files, app.upgar, short for upgrade, I guess. Uh, that's the actual binary that's got the new firmware in it. There is a batch file here that you can run if you're on Windows to automatically upgrade, but we're on a Mac, so that won't work. Some upgrade instructions here, which you can go through. But to be honest, it's all pretty straightforward. And if we take a look at the release notes, we are looking at, so I was on version 1.02. I skipped 1.03, I just didn't realize it was there. So some changes that look pretty cosmetic. And 1.04, they've actually made some changes and you can browse through that at your leisure. To upgrade, just drag the binary file onto the toolkit. That's it, you're done. And you can see here that you've got your new firmware sitting on the Toolkit RC. Let's plug it in again and just check we've got an upgrade. There we go, 1.04 flashed by. Just a quick word of warning though, this works fine on Windows, but on a Mac that's running Catalina, the latest OS, there seems to be a bug and the charger simply won't turn on after the upgrade. So just use Windows or an earlier version of MacOS and you'll be fine. Great, let's get on to calibrating this. To check the calibration of the charger, you'll need a multimeter and ideally a 6S battery that's got some charge left in it. If you've only got 4S, then you're probably not gonna be charging anything bigger. So you'll only be able to calibrate the first four balance ports. Now I'm using my bench power supply to power this up, but you could equally use your external battery, however you want to do it. To get into calibration mode, hold down the scroll wheel and turn the power on. There we go, and we are in the calibration page now. Now the first thing we're gonna do is actually check that the input voltage is correct. Now I have actually calibrated this before when I first got it, so I'm hoping things won't have changed too much. So we can see up here on the bench plus supply, we're on 18.12, and this is displaying 18.086. So to calibrate that, just press the scroll wheel and just wind this around. So I find making these numbers go down makes this go up. It's a bit counterintuitive. So we need to get that up to 18.12. It's actually a very fine control, this. There we go. And press return when you're done. Now, what you could do 
is measure each of these cells on the JST connector here and write down the voltage that you get on your multimeter. But I find, oh, that was beeping at me, okay. I find an easier way to do this is just to plug your battery in and carefully measure across the pins here. Be very careful not to short them out. So our first battery cell is 4.191. So if we scroll down here to the first cell, we need to get that to 4.191. So press the scroll bar and just crank it around. 4.191 and press return or press the scroll. Move on to cell number two. And again, you measure this, but be very careful not to short out the cells. And that one is 4.190. Okay, so we need to press the scroll button and wind this around to 4.190. There we go, and press return. And you just keep doing that for all of the cells on here. And when you've finished all the cells on the first bank, you can scroll down to save here. And there we are, that size done. All you need to do is do the same thing on this balance port over here. And once you've done that, you've got a fully calibrated charger. As always, thanks for watching. And if you found that useful, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. And if you want to see more like this, remember to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when I post new content. I'll see you next time.